In this demo, we'll show you how you can use Cisco DNA Center to set up zero trust networking policies that can protect your users and business from threats and also improve network performance. Zero trust networking can be challenging because you need to identify all users and things on your network, categorize them, and provide granular access privileges to the resources that each endpoint requires while segmenting them from everything else. This type of segmentation will protect your users and business assets from security threats, but you need to make sure that your security policies are optimized for the best performance as well. As your network grows, defining and optimizing these segmentation policies can be daunting. Cisco DNA Center uses analytics and machine learning to untangle these complexities and automation to facilitate their configuration. Let's take a look. Policy is one of the main menu items in DNA Center. Let's start by looking at AI Endpoint Analytics, which uses deep packet inspection and machine learning to identify endpoints as they connect to your network. This overview dashboard gives a quick status of all endpoints at a glance. Selecting Endpoint Inventory shows all endpoints, including endpoint type, hardware manufacturer, model, and operating system. I can even register for software updates from the endpoint manufacturer right from here. Group-based access control is where I create policies for each endpoint group. Groups represent types of users, like auditors or contractors, and endpoint devices, like CCTV or HVAC. This matrix view makes it easy to view any policy that's been configured by clicking on the square at the intersection of the source and destination. For example, I can view the policy for traffic from employees to HVAC devices here. This policy permits IP traffic based on an SGACL, which is a security group access control list that's located in my AAA server. Looks good. Now let's look at traffic from my employees to my point of sale terminals. There's no policy, that's not right. Let's create a specific denial of access to these devices for security. Change contract, deny IP, change, save. It's that easy. Policy analytics is where you can look at recent traffic trends in order to spot anomalies in your existing policies. In scalable groups, I can see the actual flow of data during the last 24 hours. This is actual traffic and seeing this can highlight policy flaws that I might have missed in the matrix view. Here's the traffic from employees and notice the traffic to my water control devices. That's not appropriate. Let's create a new policy right here. View contract, change contract, deny IP change. And we're done. Learn more at cisco.com slash go slash DNA Center.